I want to talk about something really important right now. Uh, let me get back to my office and uh, we'll talk about it. I'm honestly raging right now. So triggered. Uh, let me talk to you guys about this one second. And a lot of you are going to laugh right now that know me. And they know <laughs> how I am when I get triggered and just raging about something, you know. And uh, today I'm triggered about something. It's about the most important job in the world. And you're barely getting paid anything. And I'm so mad. You guys know I started a new job and I don't dispatch hotshots anymore, which I will have a hotshot here in the future, I believe. But right now I'm doing step decks and I have a drive-in. And I mean, low rates, everybody knows about it, the low rates. But if you guys never ran into drive-ins, you guys won't believe it. You, will, you guys, I'm mind blown how cheap these rates are. Like, I don't even know. And I know they're paying more. And I know and the brokers or customers, they just either don't want to pay. They got money into it. It's just crazy. These big corporations don't want to pay for nothing. And it just pisses me off. And, and the most important job in the world is trucking. Like, literally, without trucking, there will be nothing. I mean, I don't care what you say. Say, oh, there's airplanes or there's trains. How did that cargo get to the airplane? How did that cargo get to that train? It's by truck, obviously, by truck driver, somebody with a CDL, or you I mean, if you're a hot shot driver, you don't have a CDL, but still, you, you, hot shots, step decks, reefers and vans, you know, like, and all the rest of the trucks, you know, it's, it's one of the most important jobs in the world, world you know, like, without my computer here, for me dispatching, it was brought by a truck. Without that truck, I would not have this computer. The phone, um, you guys are watching on the phone, computer, you guys are driving, or if you're a driver, you know, brokers, they're underbidding everything. Their shoes, their, also their computers, their clothes, everything's brought, brought, brought by a truck. And they're so stingy, the customers and brokers, I'm going after customers and brokers, they're so stingy to pay anything to the hardworking drivers that are driving out there. You know what else triggers me when trucking companies cut the rates of their drivers and truckers and owner operators, and they take more money to themselves. When you're not the one out there on the road driving, you know, I understand that everybody needs money, but the, the owner operator is already paying you a percentage to do your job. Why are you cutting more rates off of that truck? This is like, I'm pissed about that. And I, I don't like that, you know, and I know, I know people personally that do that. And they probably still do that. And it's just ridiculous. And I, I hate that. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys what kind of rates I've been seeing for the past two days for a van. I mean, this is just like ridiculous. So a 53 foot van uh, could scale up to like about 40... 45,000 pounds, about there. I mean, it's, it depends. I think you could do a little more, but for basically a full truck load filled all the way or with space or weight, they're paying not even, not even a dollar a mile over a course of like a thousand miles. I mean, not even. The less the miles I've seen, it was 500 miles and they're paying $600 to California. To California, they're paying like a dollar 20. I mean, this is ridiculous. And these big corpor corporations, like, yeah, it's a uh, clothes going to blah, blah, blah store. I don't want to name any companies, but and I'm like, this is a huge corporation. You're telling me they got only two grand to go from east to west. I mean, there's shoes in there probably that cost a hundred a pair and there's hundreds and hundreds of those shoes in there and clothes and all that. And it just, it pisses me off. And food is the same thing for reefers and for step decks and flats. I mean, they bring all the lumber and they bring all the like building material, the, all the machinery, you know, like I wouldn't have this house if it wasn't for a truck, you know, like 
and broker and customer the same thing and they're so stingy and this job is one of the most important jobs in the world and they're just like oh yeah here you go a thousand dollars for a thousand miles have fun with it it's a thousand dollars you know like get out of here like it's just ridiculous and you call people and they like it's just i want to rage at them and be like are you serious like this is ridiculous, you know, and I just wanted to rage a little <laughs> to you guys event because I mean, I've been so fed up with this, you know, and with all these rates, I mean, step decks and hot shots. I mean, they're, they have issues, I know, but I never seen so bad like vans. I don't know, like I'm just completely mind blown right now. I, I it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, Truckers and most of the guys that watch my channel are truckers, you know, and those are the most important jobs in the world. That's why I made a channel to help out, to like I put out information that I know and to help out other people that need to like they need that info, you know, and it's just and to find info for for trucking is just the hardest thing. Everybody's like stingy. They, they don't want to share any info. They don't want to. I, oh, I don't want to tell you what load board I use. I don't want to tell you what this and this I use. There's so much people out there that I met personally. They're probably watching this channel right now because I know some people that do. And like, they just, they don't, they don't want to share anything. They don't want to tell you anything. Or if they do tell you, it's a, just a bunch of BS, you know, I tell you, oh yeah, my truck is driving for $3 a mile, you know, and you don't know that maybe that truck is doing a bunch of pickups or that three dollars a mile is a lie you know it's not even three you know it's like they just make it everything seem better and like this whole trucking industry is just like corrupt <laughs> so i don't know like if you guys agree smash that like button comment your guys thoughts below maybe i'm wrong let me know if i'm wrong below you know like share this video but um whatever i'm gonna get off the camera before i say something extra thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys at the next one